Hey everyone, I'm Argo Funk, playing Great Ace Attorney Adventures. This is case number two. We're on the third segment of the case. Alright, so somehow the door to the cabin was bolted after the emergency stop. Susato took a deep breath and then undid the bolt. Oh no! Everyone was waiting for us! Angry Stroganov. Poor beaten up Hosanaga. Yeah, so what what was what was that emergency message? Ah, false alarm. False alarm that they were about to crash. It's very foggy, so it's difficult to see. Everything's chaos! Passengers screaming! The first class area is the only quiet place. So why would somebody trigger that alarm? How did they do it? Did they do it with the outs- uh, I mean, there's a button in the outside area. I'll try to point it out next, week, next time we go there. Okay. And Pavlova is accusing me. You opened my traveling case. No, I did not. It was already opened by the time we got here. Mm hmm. Whoa, whoa, you can't arrest me! I didn't do anything! Okay, fine, maybe I trespassed and I was a stowaway and maybe... No, no, I'm not a murderer! I'm not a murderer! But yeah, things look terrible for me. And I'm just gonna be thrown in jail. Sanaga, can you do something? Not really, this is a Russian vessel, I don't have jurisdiction. And the last time I talked to the cabin, he punched me in the face. This is terrible. This is a crisis, I need to find a solution. Immediately! Okay. So, I'm not sure we can go outside to the first class passageway anymore. Uh, but th there, was a, there was a little lever thingy that you could pull to cause an emergency stop. I imagine there's more than one of them inside uh, this area. Okay, so it looks like we can just examine everything over again. Don't touch my things. You want me to hurt you? Ah! Wow, everyone hates me. Wow. Lozato, I'm starting to think you were my friend. Is there anyone who can help me out of this mess? What the? Scholz? What are you doing there? And he's wearing the tiara now. I just wanted to see how heavy the tiara was. Haha. <laughs> Yes. I need to know everything. I'm not messing around, buddy. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay, you want to see if it was so heavy it would bend the hook. Inspector! Yes, I've been looking for you. I have something to report urgently. Well, I'm not on a hook on the wall. What's the report? The case of the murder that took place has been solved by me, the great detective. Whoa! 
Really? You know who the culprit is? Yes, I've eliminated all the possibilities. So, the one that remains must be the truth. Oh man, great deduction. Is he gonna do his dancing around the cabin thing again? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anybody else who could have killed the victim. Because the cabin door is bolted shut, however, I am going to claim the cabin door is open the whole time and it only got bolted shut long after the murder. Somebody, you know, killed the victim, left the room, then triggered the emergency stop to bolt the door. To make it seem like the door is bolted the whole time. That's my argument. No, but seriously, I just explained my argument. Okay. You're mistaken. The cabin next door is not a locked room. Oh yes, there's another entrance. An entrance used by the culprit last night. <laughs> What's this other entrance? Why, well, gapes at you even as you speak. It's the ventilator. It's a very, very tiny ventilator and your arms are giant. It is possible. Last night the victim witnessed the intruder passing through the ventilator. Mr. Sholmes, do you mean? You're talking to the words that Kazuma wrote? You heard a whistling. I assume the whistling is when uh, Miss Pavlova, like, kind of entered. And then the speckled band. Coming through the ventilator was the murderer coming through the ventilator. And the speckled band here in the cabin. It's dangerous, but he's ready. Very shocking. <gasps> it's the snake. Yes. It's a deadly, deadly snake. Hello, everyone. May I introduce you to the speckled band? So the deadly snake snuck into the room, strangled the victim to death, which, which is how the, the victim died from strangulation with no visible mark. I mean, the snake is small enough to fit inside uh, the, the ventilator shaft. It all makes sense. What do you mean it's not speckled? It, it's more striped than speckled? Really? Really, that's what you're gonna do? That's what you're gonna complain about? Look, look. Take it up with Kazuma. He's the one who came up with the name. Not Sholmes. What? A trick? The culprit gave the wrong name? What? What? The culprit broke into the room, wrote, you know, crossed out speckled band, rewrote stripey band in its place? <laughs> what? 
I mean, we do know that the victim was in the process of writing um, when when he was interrupted. So maybe he's halfway through the word stripey, but it came out as speckled. It's like two conclusions from the facts. Last night, your snake entered the victim's cabin. And two, your snake killed the victim. And you know what? She is also a stowaway. She's also kind of guilty looking. I mean, if you're going to accuse me of being a stowaway, you know, you accuse me of murder because I'm a stowaway, it, that logic applies equally to her. Stroganoff can't really talk with a snake around his mouth. Um, sir, please don't move. You don't want the fangs of that snake in your neck. In fact, we probably should just take the snake away at this point. No, no, no. I get to show off with my logic instead. Yeah, let's do it. Well, no, I, I, you know, I don't really need a great deduction. I, I, I feel like we have a good enough explanation. Let's just accept his explanation um, without question because it's good for me, you know? Okay, you said his death had nothing to do with you. But you can't lie. Yes, when you remember those events, your heart smarts with... Oh no, not her heart. It's not that she's in love with the victim. And yes, that pain that proves you're linked to the death. Okay, so what's the nature of the intruder? Actually, your snake snuck into the next room. Uh, oh, wait, wait, question. Question mark, it wasn't the snake? Was it the guy under the snake? Hmm, okay. So the victim wrote about a speckled band, but this is a, a, a stripey snake. What's up with that? Hmm, what is she reaching for in her bag? Snake skin? No, 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 that looks more like a tie. Now that would be a great mystery if the snake shed its skin right after committing murder. Yeah, the bell cord does make for a convenient bridge. Topic number one. Wow, we still have topic number two. It feels like topic number one was enough. Could we maybe hash that out before going to uh, topic number two? Hmm, yeah, but somebody wrote the word wardrobe there, so somebody clearly was inside the room. He couldn't have been the snake. Venom? No, no, no. Venom was not what killed him. It's strangulation. Snake strangulation. Didn't we already go over that? Hmm. 
Hmm, there is some evidence at the crime scene. Examining his body? No, no, no. Maybe it's that weird thing that was spilled next to him. Hmm. Yeah, seeing a snake bite would definitely prove he was bitten by a snake and murdered. They tried to hide everything. And now she's looking at... The traveling case? Question mark? Oh. It's very interesting that they're just letting Sholmes go on and on and on and on instead of stopping him at the first incorrect deduction. Like, in real life, that's what would happen. Someone would protest their innocence right away, rather than letting him talk for ten minutes and make even more crazy deductions that are false. Okay, whistling noise. Ah, is that the signal? Yeah, she used it to train the snake with spe specific whistles. One whistle is, hey, go through the ventilation shaft. The other whistle is, come back through the shaft. Oh, wow, she had to try the snake uh, murder multiple, multiple times? Crazy. It's like, oh, snake didn't kill him? Okay, whistle, come back, snake. We're trying it again. Okay, that's topic number two. Death by Venom Snake. Venomous Snake Bite. Definitely a grand explanation. Everybody looks stunned. And the snake is a murderous killing machine. Of course, Ryunosuke believes that it, it, it's it's a great, fantastic deduction that proves his innocence. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna question it. Uh oh, Suzato, are you going to question it? I mean, last time you did this, you 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 kind of messed up pretty badly. So maybe you messed up this time as well. Okay, so I was taking notes. Okay, so snakes lay eggs. Yeah. And, um, that means they don't drink milk. Also, I don't think snakes can hear whistling. They don't have ears, either. Okay, so you can't train a snake with milk. Well, maybe the milk bowl was- milk saucer was filled with something else. Maybe. Maybe. That- that is a good explanation. Oh, and, and as I said, snakes have no ears. So, whistling to the snake probably uh, wouldn't have done anything. What? Haven't you ever heard of, of snake charmers? No, no, no. The snake charmer thing doesn't work because snakes don't have ears. Oh my gosh. 
Don't be angry with snakes just because you're a you're you're a, a failed zoologist, Mr. Jones. Wow, and another problem? They use the scales on their bellies to move. So snakes can't really climb flat bell cords. Especially if you're talking about a snake shedding its skin. So the point is, even if the snake went through the ventilator shaft, it probably couldn't have gone back without any help. So what I'm trying to say is, um, I don't think the snake is the culprit. Sorry. 